One of the quickest ways to gain a few horsepower on a gas engine, especially an automobile, is to increase the airflow and decrease the resistance of air entering the engine. And in order to do that, you have to have a high flow air system or else remove the air filter altogether, which is not a wise idea. When I was growing up, people did this all the time. They would just take off the air filter and just let the engine breathe whatever was in the atmosphere. In doing so, they put their engine at risk, potentially causing the engine to get contamination from all sorts of dirt, dust, and sand. And so as part of our destructive testing series, what I'm going to do today is take off the air filter and simulate years worth of dirt and debris entering this engine to see what kind of damage it will cause. Okay, what I have inside of each of these containers first is some dirt and sand I got off the ground. I did filter this to make sure there weren't any large particles because in reality, the really large stuff probably isn't gonna kick up and get inside the engine. So I'm gonna add that to this jar here. This is what we're adding to the engine. Okay. And then this jar, I have sand. This is the kind of sand you would get at um, a big box store. It's it's just regular sand you would use in any sort of mix. This is about the largest thing I can imagine getting up into an air breather or into an engine. But anyway, we're going to do some sand as well. Okay, and so now we've got quite a bit of material here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake it up real good. We've got a nice dirty mix here. This is going to be great to run through the engine. Okay, it only took about three tablespoons of, of sand, and now this engine has oil coming out into the carburetor, and you saw all that smoke blowing out. So the point here is it doesn't take much dirt to get inside the engine to totally destroy it. Let's take a close look at this carburetor. I want to show you what's going on here. This thing has a lot of oil coming back into the carburetor. As you can see, there's a lot of oil inside this carburetor, and if you look on the frame, you can see where oil has gotten onto the frame blowing out of this carburetor. Okay guys, we've got a lot of blow-by going on. So what I want to do is I'm bypassing the carburetor. So what I'm going to do is hook this hose up and allow it to blow out the front so we can see how much blow-by there is now.
I've tried to get this thing started by using the pull rope and there's no way I'm going to get it started. The compression is too low. And so I'm going to use an electric drill with an adapter and a socket to go ahead and spin this engine over and see if we can get it going again. As you can see, we've got a huge mess. All this oil came out of this crankcase ventilation, and it's gone all over the ground and all over the lawnmower, and that's what you saw blowing out of the hose. So I'm gonna clean up this mess, and we're gonna take this engine apart and see what's going on inside. So what I'm going to do now is drain some oil. This oil has 15 minutes of use and um, I did change the oil three different times cycling it. I'd run it, drain it, run it, you know, add some oil, run it and drain it to make sure I had clean oil in the engine for this test. Just look how black that oil is. And it actually seems to have a lot of metallic look to it as if it's part of the engine cylinder walls that have been um, destroyed and gotten into the oil. So at the beginning of this test, this is what the oil looked like. As you can see when I dip the spoon in it, you can it's very um, translucent. After 15 minutes of dirt getting in the engine, look at this. As soon as the spoon is submerged, you can no longer see the spoon, the part of the spoon that's submerged. It is so dark. It has a metallic look as well. Obviously, there's a lot of aluminum inside this oil. I decided to go ahead and disassemble this engine and cut it in half just to give a good look at what took place inside the engine with all this uh, dirt contamination. As you can see, there's a tremendous amount of damage to this piston. It has really torn up the piston. And look at how much damage it's done on the cylinder wall itself. Hopefully you can see the amount of damage that has occurred because of the dirt that's gotten into the combustion chamber but it has just totally destroyed this cylinder wall. There are very deep gouges up and down this entire length of the cylinder. This is an area where the piston does not come in contact with the cylinder wall, and you can see it is really shiny and clean and smooth. This is very rough. The piston has a lot of damage as well. As you can see, there's a lot of scoring on the piston. By the same token, these rings have also been badly damaged. So what takes place when sand enters the engine? This piston, as it's rotating up and down, is just grinding sand between the piston and the cylinder walls. This is a look at the other part of the engine. You can see towards the bottom a lot of very bad scoring all the way up through the top of the cylinder. A lot of damage from the dirt that's gotten into the combustion chamber. 
It did not take long to destroy a perfectly good engine. I had no idea that such a small amount of sand would cause this much devastation and so quickly. Anyway, the lesson I learned from all this is it is incredibly important for me to make sure I always have a, a clean air filter on my vehicles. Vehicles, as they're traveling down the road, are subject to all kinds of dirt that gets kicked up from the vehicle in front of them, from windstorms. It's just a harsh world we live in and there's a lot of air contamination. So um, I learned a lot from this video. I don't think it was wasteful. Some people will say it's wasteful. I could have um, done something better with this mower. But for me, it's, it's, there's a value in education and I, I learned something from it so it made it worthwhile. Also, I would love to hear your comments. I'm doing uh, periodically doing videos on basically how to destroy engines. And I like to test real world scenarios. We've already tested sugar getting into a fuel tank. That's pretty real world. I mean, some vandal could dump sugar in your fuel tank. And now we've tested sand. You know, not having good air filter system is, I think, fairly real world. Are there other types of destructive engine tests that you would like me to run? I'll try to do one every three or four videos. Keeps it exciting and it's, it's fun. I sort of like just seeing how these things play out. But uh, I'd love to hear you provide those comments in the comments section. Anyway, as always, just want to say thank you for watching the video and look forward to seeing you next time.